Hey guys, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Today I'm going to teach mom all about Gmail filters. Imagine if every time the kids threw something on the ground, your house just automatically put that toy in the right bin or put those clothes in the right drawer. Well, that is what Gmail filters allow you to do with your inbox on autopilot. And I'm going to teach you how to do that today on an iPhone. Let's get started. All right, if you're here to learn how to create Gmail filters and how to use these filters to auto organize your inbox um, on an iPhone specifically, you're at the right video. Now, here's the catch you cannot set up and utilize filters on an iPhone. So, I'm going to explain to you what filters are and how you use them. If you want to use them, you're going to need to go to a computer and log in in the browser to Gmail and set up your filters that way. But what's really cool about filters is what's really cool about filters is you can auto organize emails as they come in. So if I get spam, so let's say these first 5 emails, these are all spam. Rather than me having to swipe and delete these every time they come in, I can create a filter so that every time this person sends me spam, it automatically throws it into the spam folder or even just deletes it from my inbox completely. Okay, So that's what filters allow you to do. Or let's say this person here, every time they come in, I have to save their email because it's my boss into my work folder in case I have to refer back to it. Rather than having to every time a work email comes in that I need to save, rather than having to manually move that to my work folder or my work label, a filter would allow me to say, hey, every time Mr. Boss emails me, put that in my work folder. Or every time Mrs. Professor from math emails me, put that in my math folder. And then you can go, when you need to go through all your boss emails, you can just go to Mr. Boss label and go through them. And that can come in handy to keep your inbox clean and organized. So I'll show you how to set that up. I already have in another video, but unfortunately you cannot do that on your iPhone. You'll need to do that from a desktop computer. It can be a Mac or a PC. It does not matter. Please just go watch that video. I'll put a link there now. Or if you're watching the full version of this Gmail tutorial, then you can go down to the description. And in the description, you can just click to the chapter that shows you how to create filters on a computer. Okay, hope that helps. Now take the time to watch some more of these Gmail tutorials and continue to learn how to use Gmail. Hey, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Before you go anywhere else, check out this playlist I created for you. Everything you can ever need or want to know about Gmail is found in this playlist. Click the video playlist and watch. Also, please like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications.